Hello everyone, and we're back to another episode of Million Wards. Last episode, we um, kind of uh, took out one of these high-level cities from our southern neighbor. Uh, at the moment, he is fully turtled up in a couple of these cities here. I am not really going to risk attacking either of these or the ones adjacent. I think instead I'm going to uh, cut off all these other cities that he has around the map. And I'll just send out smaller groups. Uh, how many would we? How many would we need? Let's see. Not that many. We'll send out maybe twenty worth this way. That should be more than enough. Like so. And then maybe we'll start spreading the love a little bit, like this. And just start spreading out. I don't think he's going to defend these. But we'll see. It's going to be pretty quick. If he's got to be penned in, he's got to be penned in. Still have more than enough troops to defend that city. I don't want to let that go necessarily. Just go ahead and just snag them all. Take this guy. Don't mind if I do. Good luck defending all of this. What's our defense? 190. Still pretty good. I think I'm going to hold off for now. I think we can still defend it if we need to. 190 plus defense stats. That should be more than enough. And we'll see if we can take all these. Maybe I won't end up going for these other cities. I'm not sure. I'd like to have more troops. Attacking either of these would be suicide, basically. Based on how many troops are in there. Unless, of course, he moves them around to defend the other ones. Which he probably will not. Probably doesn't value these ones too highly. Which is fine by me. We do have some more over here. Is that enough? Yeah, probably. That's fine. Ah, probably should have. Nah, that's alright. It takes 12 minutes, don't care. No problem. Everything else should be fine. It'd be nice if we could get this city high enough level where... I can leave it alone. I don't actually think that would be possible, though. Regardless, if I leave this city and he gathers everybody together, there's really nothing I can do about that. So that's fine. We'll just spread out. Take everything else. If we see an opportunity, of course, to take out one of his armies, then we'll do that, of course. Nice. Very nice. Take that. Don't mind if I do. We will be definitely taking on our western neighbor here. I thought about taking these ones, these four right here, and just start snowballing straight to their capital uh, up here. Like a juggernaut, just push right on through. I'm not going to antagonize this guy for the time being. He's less of a concern. As you can see, it looks like they're still kind of going at each other up here. He has a quite a few high-level cities. 
pretty nice. We have an ally down here as well. It's what we like to see. I think we'll probably just save up the uh, Halloween event currency for the next season. Probably would be pretty useful. At this point in the season, I mean, for me to just keep getting uh, troops from this seems kind of pointless. Not particularly helpful. I mean, I guess I would definitely get a pretty substantial amount. I mean, look at this. Good lord. It's quite a bit. But I mean, yeah, two days left. I could save it up for any number of other things. Uh, probably not the Weapon Master and stuff. Only three days worth doesn't seem particularly worth it. Maybe a skill reset or something. Fresh start, maybe. Main city change, stuff like that could be useful. Pretty expensive, I have to say. Expedition new start, 900. I mean, that seems kind of high. A lot of them seem pretty high, honestly. Really, the troop production is probably the most useful thing on here. You could use... Troop speed boost, but then that's like 800. Seems pretty high, too. Not um, not worth it. And especially if you're in a clan where you maybe only get, what, 200 of this currency a day? Seems pretty steep. Uh, you could get the chess. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments in terms of what you might think is best. Getting stuff from the event here. Pretty cool stuff. God, 7,500 for uh, legendary equipment. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Definitely an investment, but could be could be worth it. Or one of these guys. Hmm. I'm not sure. Simply don't know. Not experienced enough. No matter. Love to get this guy pinned in. I mean, we could attack one of these ones aside. My logic here is I attack, I attack the weakest, weakest city here, one of these 108s. And if he has to send his troops to defend that one, technically he's getting less defense because it's a lower level city. And then if he does happen to send even a portion of his troops, I'll get experience and money for taking that out. I can keep leveling up this one. This one makes the most sense to try and level up. So that it's harder for him to take it back. Um, I should really just try and hit all of them. Just don't have the troops for it. About to take this guy. Nice. Perfect. Sending these guys out. Almost there. I know I was. <laughs> I had hoped to try and take this guy out, but I'm so much more powerful than him. It doesn't even matter now. Move that guy right along. Keep on rolling. I know some of you think that uh, not having Weapon Master is really difficult for me. I'm honestly not bothered by having it whatsoever. I found it actually a little frustrating that I couldn't sort of um, adjust my skills based on what I need. Rather, rather than having it be like automatic, I'd rather it not be automatic to be completely honest. Those guys are totally done. Move this guy up here. Got another one coming from pretty far down. Didn't seem... I anticipated he wasn't going to defend these at all. And looks like it came true. He could have defended this one, maybe. Nope. Not even bothering. I should go get that city that he put way up here. That's just so out of the way. Goodness gracious, what are we doing? Okay, this guy's set. Perfect. A 
couple seconds here to make this faster. Just in time, five seconds. <laughs> kind of close. All right. Try to call them on. Or if there's more this way. No, I think that was pretty much, pretty much everything. Oh, there is this one. Yeah, we can pick that up. Oh. Wait a minute. What's going on down here? A lot of something. Oh, we should definitely take these. There's nobody even down here other than allies. Wow, this guy took all these. Wow, 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 wow. Ripe for the picking. Let's see, eight seconds. Come on. And then we can grab that. That doesn't really go anywhere. That's unfortunate. Oops, sorry about that. Phone's dying on me here. As always. <laughs> Gathered these guys up. Should just sort of send an expeditionary force out that way. I could try and pick those cities up before I go inland here. Logic being behind that, that maybe they'll send troops out here to defend it. And then leave their main cities exposed, potentially. Two seconds, grab that. We're up to 81 cities now, from like 60-something, I think, or 70, maybe it was 70-something. The last episode. Losing track. Yeah, maybe we'll just send these guys over there. Yeah, might as well. Maybe keep these guys here. Just for the time being. Just move everybody over there. Not a bad idea. We'll take this one. Get that level 100. Help our friend down here. Not that he needs it, seems like it. Ah, there's so many. Yeah, forget this. Everybody down here. Keep regrouping. Yeah, we'll send about maybe 20G worth of troops. I mean, how many? I don't want to scout these yet. I don't want this person to have any indication. I mean, it would be a bit of a stretch trying to get here. So if we do push across, we probably would need pretty substantial force to defend it, or to, uh, to take it, because they'll probably send people over. And then if we can just take one city, we can start sprawling out. It is pretty far from us, though. Take that. Yeah, looking pretty good. 
I do sometimes wish you could take some of these pink after a certain period of time, maybe if they just became... I think they do eventually, after being inactive for so long, they become uh, conquerable. But only if you're a certain level, I think. If you're too high, you can't take those neutral cities. So I kind of wish they were ones that anyone could take, versus just being um, the smaller neutral ones that I wouldn't be able to absorb. Just because it looks weird on the map, you know, having these like little patches of ones that you can't take or whatever, but... Sort of a minor thing, I suppose. The only attack going on is this one. So in 50 seconds, we'll bring him down here, gather these guys up, send them out west, possibly keep these guys here. Let's think about that, 193. We could even move some more out, probably. And we'll get everybody, we'll take this. Really wish we could be closer, but really it looks like this is the only one that we'd be able to take. It would take us a while to get there. But um, yeah, we'll try. Try and go for it. Basically uh, cut this person's empire in half, because then it will just be these cities. I mean, how many cities is this? person have 118 unacceptable unacceptable my friends can't allow it we disapprove right, well we will redirect our forces make a daring push to another continent in the next episode see if we can get a launch pad going here and just start going ham. I want to take this whole whole coastline here, if possible. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. Please subscribe for more content. And I will see you in the next one.